Hey guys, what's up? I'm CeeLo and welcome to my kitchen. Let's try something a little bit different for today. How about Korea meets Italy? And I'm not talking about soccer. I'm talking about a Korean barbecued beef kalbi pizza. Kalbi is that sweet and salty Korean barbecued beef marinated in a soy-based sauce and grilled to perfection. Now you're wondering, why do I even have any left over in the first place? Because I wanted to try something new. And after all, how hard can be? Can be, can it be? Use any 10 inch pizza dough recipe. I like cast iron because it's easy. If it bounces back, let it rest. You can't hurry perfection. Because we're cooking the beef twice, I prefer to sprinkle baking soda to the raw meat to make it more tender. Let it rest for 30 minutes. I'm using bottled kalbi sauce because we're here to make a kalbi pizza and I want to save myself a step. Jarred kalbi sauce is kind of sweet, so I like to cut it in a 1 to 1 ratio with pizza sauce. Try not to skip out on the Korean spicy red pepper paste. I ended up using most of the spicy kalbi pizza sauce. In hindsight, I think green onions would work really well too. You need a drizzle sauce because it's like a hyped up version of jarred kalbi sauce that's way more intense. Adding a sauce on top guarantees your crust doesn't get soggy. Yeah, it's messy, but who likes a soggy bottom? A Japanese mayo is way better than a regular mayo. It's more creamy, eggy, and sweet. Oh my god, I just can't wait to dig in. Hope it's not too spicy. Oh, the cheese! Mm. Oh my god. Oh, hot, hot, hot. Phenomenal. Guys, you have to see what I'm seeing. Check this out. The crispiest crust loaded with cheese, the toppings, and the hyped up kalbi sauce. 
I should have added more meat because meat undergoes a phenomenon known as meat shrinkage. This is what happens when you want kalpi and pizza at the same time. And I'm going to end it there. Happy eating, guys.